Today we're talking about vocal sync in Cakewalk by BandLab. So the question is, can a free vocal alignment software and a free DAW actually do your vocal tracks justice when it comes to vocal editing? Well, we're going to answer that question in this tutorial. And of course, I'm going to show you how to actually align vocals with vocal sync. So if you want to learn all this good stuff, stick around after this introduction. Welcome everybody, I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing and mastering skills. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash the like button, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when videos coming out. So without further ado, today we're talking about vocal sync within Cakewalk by BandLab. So what is vocal sync? Well, it is a region effects that comes free with Cakewalk. It is built in and its main purpose is to align vocal stacks. So the questions that we need to answer in this tutorial slash review of this tool is, does it align the vocals well? Are there any artifacts? And in the end of this all, is the audio actually usable? So that's what we're gonna answer in this tutorial. So I'm gonna take you through the whole process of how you actually align vocals, and then at the end, we'll be able to answer those questions, okay? so. Before we get to all that, I want to mention in the top right corner that I have a playlist popping up to my Cakewalk training videos. So if you want to get better at using this amazing free DAW, definitely check out that playlist after this video. So with that being said, let's get further into this topic and let's actually align some vocals with vocal sync. All right, so in this session here, I have three vocal tracks of myself counting to eight. So this is a speaking demo. Now I imagine most of you watching this tutorial want to use this for singing tracks and that's perfectly fine. I just did this with speaking tracks because it was easier for me to make for this video. And also to mention that you can use this for film purposes uh, for ADR. So if you were recording some you know, audio out in the field and you wanted to do some overdubs in the studio and then align them, you could do that with vocal sync. So you have those two different scenarios. So let's give a quick listen to what we're working with so you can hear how bad it actually sounds. All right, so let's give it a listen. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. All right, so as you can hear, that definitely needs a lot of work. So the first thing that we want to do to align vocals is we need to decide what our guide track is. So I'm gonna make Vox 1 right here our guide track. So I'm gonna align Vox 2 and Vox 3 to Vox 1, okay? So with vocal sync, I don't have to do anything to the guide track, so we're gonna leave it alone. So I'm gonna to go to my first track that I want to align to the guide track. So that's gonna be Vox 2. I'm gonna click on the region here. I'm gonna highlight it. I'm gonna go up to the region FX right here where my mouse is at. I'm gonna click the down arrow. We're gonna to go to vocal sync here and we're gonna to go to create region FX and it's doing its thing. And as you can see, we now have two waveforms here, the red being Vox 2 and then the gray being the guide track. So let's open up the region FX here. So if we click in the top right of the clip here, and then we go to open editor, you can now see the vocal sync plugin here. And this is all it is. So you got a drop down, a couple buttons, and a knob. That is it. So the drop down here is where you select your guide track. And we only have three tracks in the session here. So our only options for this would be Vox 1 or Vox 3. So we want Vox 1. And you have a built-in noise filter here. So if I engage this, this knob here now controls the noise filter strength. And this is kind of like a noise gate. So the idea of it is going to reduce noise in between your singing. So that's kind of how it works. Um, I don't particularly use it, but if you want to, you can play around with it. So I'm gonna turn that off. And if we want to align the vocals, all we have to do is turn this knob up. So if you watch the waveforms here, we're trying to get the red one here to line up with the gray. So I'm gonna start adjusting this here. So let's see, so that there, a little bit more, that looks pretty good. So we're not gonna listen to it quite yet because I wanna do Vox 3 also. Um, so I'm gonna close this here. 
I'm going to click on the clip for Vox 3. We're going to go up to Region FX, select Vocal Sync here, create Region FX. Open up the editor here. And then this one is a little bit more off than Vox 2 was. So we're going to have to probably crank the knob quite a bit up to get this one into alignment. So let's see what we can do. So we're just in, we're just in here. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna have to go all the way up for this one here. So question is, if we crank this thing all the way up, do we get artifacts? Does it still sound good? We're about to find out here. So why don't we actually listen to all three tracks together now and see what we got. All right, so let's give it a listen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so hearing all three of those vocals together alignment-wise, they don't sound too bad, but I am hearing some artifacts in there. So let's actually solo up Vox 2 and 3, and let's try to find out where they're coming from. All right, so let's give it a listen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so they both have some pretty bad artifacts in there. Vox 3, obviously, much worse than 2. So I'm actually going to pull back Vox 2 to see if we can reduce some of the artifacts and see how far back we have to go. All right, so let's give it a listen. I'll see if I can dial it back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we have already answered the question of whether the audio is even usable. And the answer is no. I have this thing on five notches right now, and I can already hear artifacts. The only other option we have is to try to render this now to see if it sounds any better. So there's no point to even go into Vox 3, because Vox 3 is hopeless if we can't even get Vox 2 to sound good. All right, so let's render Vox 2 now and see if we have any better luck. So I'm at the render button here. So we rendered our audio. So now let's listen to Vox 2 and let's see what we got. All right, so let's give it a listen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we not only have artifacts in the audio, we have clicks and pops. So yes, the audio is not even usable. And I already knew this before I made this tutorial, but I wanted to make it anyway. So let me get into my final thoughts and I'll explain some more on this. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so I know you guys are probably quite disappointed and I don't blame you. Um, I will vouch that vocal sync did used to work when it was Cakewalk Sonar. Now that was many years ago. So I did produce a record that was half done in Cakewalk and I did do all the vocal editing with vocal sync and I had no issues with it. So this is a more fairly new issue. Now I will say that I actually recorded the vocal tracks for this video several months ago. And I've been waiting for updates because Cakewalk puts updates out, you know, every month, every other month. They put them out quite a bit and they have not addressed this issue. So this video I'm making here is, you know, not only to teach you how to use vocal sync, but also to say, hey, Cakewalk, you need to fix your stuff here. Well, it's band lab. So, you know, what is better than having a free vocal alignment software that comes in a free DAW? You know, that's pretty awesome because honestly, there's not many other vocal alignment softwares out there, even paid ones. So the fact that you can get a free one and a free DAW is pretty awesome. So BandLab definitely needs to fix that for you guys and for me and just for everybody. So don't feel like you guys wasted your time watching this video because I believe BandLab will address this issue. And when they do, now you guys will know how to use Vocal Sync. okay? So if you guys end up liking this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe because I'm making this content for you and hit that notification bell to know I have new videos coming out. And if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely check out my video on how to use Syncwar Arts vocal line in Cakewalk by BandLab. With that being said, until the next video, I'll see you guys later and peace out.